Hello everyone, this is Alberto Chavez and we are here to continue with um, this Optimus Prime um, tutorial which I didn't continue last week just because I was a little sick actually I'm still a little sick but um, anyways I will try to um, finish the, the part of the legs and the foot and then we will go ahead and continue with the with the arms and hands. So um, let me get out of the camera view, and we are gonna hear what we have now. It's um, the bottom part of mm, the leg. So we will add now today the foot part. So let me just go ahead and select this bottom faces. If you want to select many faces just by pressing um, one letter and the right button mouse, the left button mouse, sorry, is just C. And there you have it. Let me just deselect that one. Oh, by the way, just let me call here the mouse and uh, keyboard monitor so it's going to be a little bit easier for everyone to follow up now just extrude this in the set axis just E and just about I don't know maybe here and I will go ahead and add an edge loop just like that, control R. Uh, maybe just two edge loops. Could even add maybe more, but it really doesn't uh, matter. So I select this bottom faces, and now uh, let's click an O for proportional editing and grab this just like this just about there and as you see I just dragged the um, the bottom faces on the y-axis but since the proportional editing it's um, activated I it's easier for us to manipulate this however as you can see there's a wheel right here and it uh, there's another one like about here so what we need to do is to add those wheels in this um, in this mesh so we can go ahead and let's say we'll add another edge loop like about here and drag it this way. Select this, this, maybe two. Let me add another one. Just remember, as I said, and I know I'm kind of <laughs> not following, do as I say, not as I do. Um, be careful not to go crazy with the edge loops because the excess of geometry on a mesh would be a little bit harmful at the end but you know just be careful not to get too crazy on it so E to extrude on the x-axis and maybe about here to this face as you can see it is possible for me now to delete these faces here right so X select um, faces and there you have it now I need to delete this face this and probably this one too so X faces so the wheel will just fit right here hey um 
age of extinction it's right around the corner huh so it's it's amazing all the things that uh, you know have been reached in terms of uh, special effects in animation 3d animation which is called CGI it's it's awesome it's very I'm very excited though because um, for two reasons first because I'm, I'm I've always been uh, a Transformers fan but besides because I need to delete these faces too because um, it's kind of cool when you get to movies and you start watching a movie that has some CGI on it and you say hey you can do it by uh, I don't know by doing um, what with some compositing or you can do that with a uh, little animation or with armatures or stuff like that you know so it's kinda cool because you know that <laughs> hey I'm learning that and um, again I don't know uh, at least for me it's very exciting when when you have like the possibility of, of uh, look the big uh, um, the big things that have been done with, with the CGI and, and some good technology so so yeah <laughs> that um, I'm excited as I said so let me now add a circle here and grab it on the set axis so G hey G set what happened here? It didn't No I didn't add it. Sorry. Okay, let me go to front view and shift A circle and grab it. What happened? Oh 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 wait a minute. Um here let me undo the clipping part and now just like this rotate it on the y-axis or y uh, 180 no wait it's 90 degrees yeah, it's happening to me <laughs> whoops shame on me okay now to the right place which would be is about there just let me bring the materials back so it's just about there I will go ahead and escalate it with S now up and just like this hey by the way um Some some um, good friend, uh, by the way, the one that asked me to uh, do this kind of tutorials in English. Uh, the guy knows a lot about three D printing, so if you are interested in it, I will. We'll talk a little bit more maybe in the next tutorial not about 3d printing but about about how this guy does it um, you know I'm, I'm not into it right now because I have uh, another kind of, of, of interest right now so you know I'm adding another edge loop here because as you can see this part and um, this part of the wheel needs to be seen so go ahead and erase those faces just like that maybe then afterwards I can create more faces just to avoid have it you know just like the way it looks right now 
So, um, but again, um, th this this guy has a lot of knowledge about it. So, if you your interest, I will ask this guy if um, I can give the contact so you can give him some some new uh, some job that you're thinking about. Um, I was about to create another material but actually as you can see here um, I already have a black material and it's a diffuse material which means that it's not reflective, it's not a glossy material and it, it goes perfect with um, with, uh, with the, the wheel, the tire actually. So just let me copy the color to so we can see it in the viewport and now we can go ahead and continue so just like this I can go ahead and click ES oh wait no just a minute let's do it face by face ES now nah, we're cooking huh uh, maybe just about here and let me E Y oops no it was X sorry the X just a little bit on the X axis so so you can see it so you can see here it's the wheel and here it's just like a little um, indentation for the rim afterwards select this how do I select the whole thing is as you can see here it's shift alt and the right click in the mouse so same here ES just about there a little bit more just like that the X. There's no need to make the internal ring since we are not going to use it at all. Let's go back to material part. No, maybe not yet. So I need to select this one. And now um, I'm not sure about the way it, this this guy here has been done. I mean, I'm talking about the ring, of course. So um, I'll go ahead and make my imagination flow. E S, E S, E S. As you can see, I'm doing it uh, many times, just because um, I want to play with these faces that I have just created here. Uh, yeah, just like this. So if you want to add or um, unselect select or deselect that's the word sorry select or deselect um, faces that are um, continuous or adge ad adjacent I don't know where to go with the strength of the voice but they are adjacent uh, faces just control plus or control minus on the numeric keyboard will do the job so this part here is not black right so just let me come here now might be a crumb since it's uh, the ring part so I will go ahead and assign it get out of the wire view with the set and now um, as I said since I'm not sure what these things are done I'm just going to do it as easy as possible so I will go ahead and click X phases and I will I will delete it and of course I need to select this part here and do maybe something like the X a little bit on the X axis ES 
just a little bit. EX again, extrude it. And now ES, ES, and you want to close it at the center, just click or press Alt M and select Merge at Center, just like that. Right? It's fairly easy, don't you think? And there you have it, there's the wheel, and now only remains this part, which, you know, uh, I added this last week, because I think that the wheel is like here. So let me go ahead and delete some faces, well actually, I'm at edge loop, yeah, I know. Right now you're thinking, hey, you said you we shouldn't go crazy with with the with the faces, and that's right. You're right. But sometimes you will do what you have to do. <laughs> All right. Um, just about there. I don't know. Maybe I. I feel that maybe not that much of faces because the wheel will not be that big and maybe this faces here too right x faces and just about there now if you want to select the whole wheel since um there are faces or actually vertices that are connected just click select one face or vertice or edge and control L will do what you need so shift D so we duplicate this wheel and let me place it maybe here so you can see I deleted so many faces that I do not need to delete but for the sake of um, being the safe side I just did now a little bit more detail on the foot and we will call this done just one more edge look here. <laughs> In these tutorials, I have declared myself like uh, an edge look addicted. Addict, not addicted, addict. There you go, another one there. Just because I need to. Let's say that I will extrude this in the y-axis just a little bit, since you can see there's something like a bevel here. And now, a couple of... There's another way. Um, I would not recommend you to do it that way, but sometimes it's it's necessary and since we are not planning to make um, big animations with this mesh and again for the sake of this tutorial of at least um, there's another way so instead of adding um, edge loops which will add them all around the mesh which means that it will increase the amount of um, geometry all around the mesh you can do something else you can press the K and do something just like this what we are doing is using the knife tool that's why the K as you may imagine um, you can just press enter. 
So there you have uh, just as simple as that. You have created a couple of faces there and uh, another one just about here maybe. Remember K, you drag your mouse, you press the left click, enter, and you just create the faces you need. Well, the edges more than faces. Okay, now these two ones, I will extrude them in the y axis, so E, Y, so you can see it. And there you have it. This is our Optimus for today. Now, I will go ahead and change the camera angle because I want you to see how we are going. So, um, you can press R twice so you can rotate your camera on their own normals. Um, and you can go ahead and press G and just place the camera in the best position so you can see the whole thing we are up to at least until today and there you have it my friends um, just one more thing you know I was noticing that I made a little mistake on the crotch because this part here this whole part right there and this part just here as you can see it's a little bit um, smaller so what you can do is press E then S and just make it smaller just like that remember that you need to um, recheck here on clipping and now to just join the whole thing and just like that, just pull it a little on the set axis and here we go we're still missing some, not some, lots, tons of details um, but we are on the way so don't worry my friends we are doing as much as we can week after week so let me save this control shit S the plus sign so we add we just add another version enter and there you have it if you want to see a quick render of it uh, just wait a minute just let me change this because it's too much samples right now maybe 50 and 50 just so you can see how it's going um, and while it's rendering, remember um, if you want the dot blend file, you can go to my blog, which is a Guatemala two two with it's um, with numbers. I mean the number two a Guatemala two dot blogspot dot com, and you can download the file from there. Um, remember to to subscribe to the blog because you might see some updates from time to time um, about things that sometimes I don't make video for so if you are interested you can go ahead and subscribe to the blog so as you can see um, materials are just getting there we could add later on uh, some some textures but that will be a little bit more say complicated not complicated but a, a little bit more uh, time consuming so right now we will stick with um, the plain materials afterwards we can add as I said some some textures but that will be of course in some future um, tutorials by now we this is what we have and we are just missing the, the arms and the hands 
the arms will be one tutorial, the hands will be a completely different tutorial because I would like them to be... Um, we can do it in, in, in two uh, two different ways. One single mesh, which could be a cube, or um, a mesh divided in many um, what in, in many sections that will create uh, the the fist of the prime. But I have not decided it yet. Whatever it takes, whatever it will be. Um, it'll be probably the next week until then and forever I hope may the software open and free software have a long 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 life